figure of eight. Quick as that. Here we go, so uh, hi there, my name is Rob, and uh, this video is an alternative way of um, tying your figure of eight knots. So you've probably shown this method where you create this loop and then you tie it round and you poke it through and all the rest of it, but you kind of stand in there going, hey, look at it. Okay, um, so this is just, as, and there are other ways of tying a figure of eight knot, it's just, uh, this is another sort of cool way. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you this. Um, I'm gonna do it this way round first of all, um, but this is obviously gonna be mirrored because you're looking at not from my perspective. So what you do is you turn your hand over, grab it with your index thing, finger and your thumb, and you twist it up, yeah, so you see that? And all the way around, so you've created now this twist, and then you put your thumb through, and you've got the, hang on, this will bring it, this will, if I come back out here a bit, you can see I've got the tail bit there, I'm crumbing round to grab that tail, if you do that, okay? So, and sometimes it, sometimes it kind of flicks over as well. You can't do it too fast, or sort of pull it too quick because it tightens up and you're kind of like jerking it through. So it's just a very methodical kind of way of twisting it round, round again. So you create that complete loop with the twist in it and then pulling this through. And I kind of, I'm using my, uh, I think like using my middle finger as well to kind of push it through was this gap is quite large and it pulls through nicely because if I pull this up too tight now what happens is that that gets stuck a little bit when you get to the end here where you've got like the tape on the end of your rope and, it, yeah, and you're pulling that through so it's not to try and uh, force it too quick but finger it in wrap it round once not too, yeah I'll let go of it <laughs> Not too tight, there we go. So it's just an alternative way and a bit of a cool way of, um, of doing a figure eight knot. I'll try and do it from your perspective now maybe. See if we can do this so you can see it. So finger around, twist all the way around again, grab the tail, use the middle finger to kind of push the loop away from you. This is what can happen sometimes, is it can kind of just do this and you go, oh I've got it wrong, but all it is is it's just Flipped over, that's all. So there we go, just an alternative way of tying on that figure of eight, so you can, um, I don't know, look a bit different at the climbing wall, look a bit like a pro, maybe, or there. There are different ways of doing it, kind of like just flicking it over your hand and then passing it through. Uh, I don't know, yeah. A mate of mine does it like that, he just kind of flicks it over, so. But there we go, there's a different way of tying your figure of eight knots, uh, and you might find it just a little bit quicker, just to be able to do that than doing the whole holding it up and going around. Um, you do need to make sure that you've got the, um, the length, you might need to adjust the length, so you know when you kind of measure it to your body, if you were ever taught about that. So you, um, you select the length at the end of your tail and you choose what length it's gonna be relative to a point on your body. So you don't end up with oodles of tail on the end of your figure of eight knot. Plus another thing to note as well, if you're a right-handed person and um, you, you tie on and your figure of eight goes in a certain way. If you've ever been to the gym, someone's left a knot in and it seems back to front, possibly because they're left-handed or they're right-handed and you're left-handed. Um, so as I'm right-handed and I tie on, uh, sorry, I create this knot this way, this figure of eight knot now is kind of back to front for me. Sorry if I hold that up, so that's back to front, it's like the opposite way around um, to where the figure of eight would be for me. Um, and it doesn't work just flipping it over as well. So the only thing to do is that you just would do it with your left hand um, if you wanted to learn it that way. I haven't, I learnt it the other way. But then the knot would be coming in from the other side. Just so it's, uh, that's just a, a minor thing, but there we go. Right, okay, cool. If you've, um, if you've enjoyed um, the video and you found it informative and helpful and you might even try and use this knot, then give it a thumbs up. It would help me out a lot. And if you want to watch any of my other um, videos, I'm going to do loads of other videos on climbing tips. Um, so subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.